Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all the series that I need to finish. Now I'm not setting a deadline on this, I'm not planning to finish all of these in 2020 because there are loads, but I want to get through some more of them. So you may remember about a year ago I did a similar video, which I will link in the comments for you. So a year ago I gave an update on what series I finished in 2018 and what ones I needed to make progress with. I've just filmed today, which should already be uploaded, the series I finished in 2019 and so these are ones that I have still got ongoing. <laughs> I've broken it down into four categories, five categories, and I'm gonna go through them. So the first category is series that I decided having not picked them up at all in 2019 I'm not going to be carrying on with that series so there are two of these. One is the Loki series by Joanne Harris so I read the first one and I didn't really enjoy it and I just decided I can't be bothered to to finish it. The second one is the Thomas Cromwell series by Hilary Mantel. Again I read the first one in 2018 I did actually get the second one out from the library at some point and didn't read it while I had it out and returned it. The third one's just come out and I just don't, I don't have interest in finishing off that series. Maybe at some point I will, but I've actually, I've unhauled Wolf Hall. So those are the ones I decided not to carry on with. Now there's a big stack of series that I didn't make any progress on in 2019, which for some of them there are good reasons for them and a number of them it's because of the type of series they are, I only have random books from the series and I want to try and read through them in order. Although for some series that doesn't matter so much, it's still for me that's what I want to do. Some of them it's just because I have not got around to them and some of them it's because I need to reread the earlier ones in the series for them to make sense. So I'm just going to start going through them and I'll try and explain for each one why I didn't make any progress. So the first series is May Grey by Georges Simenon. I can't remember which ones these are. I have a couple of these. I read the first one quite a few years ago. Georges Simenon is kind of the French Agatha Christie to an extent. I'm not sure that's a fair comparison anyway. So May Grey is like kind of the equivalent of Poirot only he is a police detective. There are I think about 70 books in the series and I have two bind ups which have two books in each and I think they come quite late in the series so at some point I do want to start from the beginning of the series and work all the way through but at the moment I'm reading through all the Agatha Christie books first. So once I finish them and I'm then looking for another detective series that's when I will get onto these ones. The next series I have not made progress with is the Peter Grant series by Ben Aronovich but I actually have the next one out from the library at the moment so this is on my radar to try and get to soon. There are a few more out after this so I've read the first four, this is the fifth one, I think they're up to about eight now but so long as I read this one I might try and get another one out from the library later in the year as well, we'll see how that goes. Peter Grant is a detective in the Metropolitan Police in London but he's also a wizard so he's part of a very unique division that solves the weird crimes. It's quite an enjoyable series so I have been looking forward to carrying on with it, I just hadn't got around to any last year. Another detective series that I have not got any further with is the Wraith and Preddy series by Paula Lennon. So the second one came out last year and I didn't get around to reading it, I do have it on my shelf somewhere. This is a detective series set in Jamaica and it was very enjoyable the first one. So for this one it is just the fact I haven't got around to it. I own so many books that I don't always prioritise the ones I own over ones I'm getting for the library that sort of thing so I will be trying to carry on with this one. I don't know if there are any more coming out anytime soon but if there are I will want to read them. The next series was another one I got the first one from the library and when I got it out I didn't realise that there was a sequel and it's just I've not ever seen it or got around to borrowing it so that is the 100 year old man series. So this is a Swedish novel the first one is about a 100 year old man. He escapes from the nursing home where he lives and goes on an adventure and apparently the, there's a second book with further adventures which I haven't got around to yet. Next is the Wrinkle in Time series by Madeline Longall. Again this is just one I haven't got around to picking up. I have the second one and I've been meaning to get to it but I really enjoyed this first book when I did read it. Next is Jeeves and Worcester by P.G. Woodhouse. This is another one where I only have random books from the series and I do want to read them all in order at some point so it will be at some point again probably once I've finished reading all the Agatha Christie ones I will move on to the Jeeves ones but I don't know. I don't think I own the first one in the series at the moment. I really enjoy P.G. Woodhouse. I have several other books by him as well so I might read the others first or I might just start buying the ones I'm missing from the series and get on with it. Next we have the Mary Finch series by Rose Mellicans. I've read two out of the three. This is a trilogy. I really enjoy these. These are historical adventure novels with a kick-ass 
female protagonist Mary Finch. I must have read this, the second one in 2018, it still feels very fresh in my memory. So I have one more to go, I really do enjoy these books, so I will be trying to get to it soon-ish, who knows. Next we have Watership Down by Richard Adams, this is another one that I didn't realise was part of a series until I made this video last year. It's not even been on my radar to try and find the follow-up, but I really do love this book so at some point I will do. Then we have Poldark. I have put the 10th book in this series on my TBR so many times and not got round to it and it's getting a bit ridiculous now. I really love these books so I don't know what keeps putting me off, maybe it's just the fact that I know I've only got a limited amount left, I don't know. I honestly don't know why I keep not getting round to them. Hopefully I will fix that soon and I will finish this series this year, but I've been saying that every year for the like the last three years so who knows. Next is The Chronicles of Barsetshire by Anthony Trollope, so I have read the first book and the third book because I read the third book not realising it was part of a series. I now own this entire series and I have been meaning to get to them and I just have not been picking up classics as much as I used to. That is a bit of a goal of mine to try and read more classics so I will try and make some progress with this series this year but last year I didn't manage to read any. Next is The World of the Five of Gods by Lois McMaster Bujold. I think there were originally intended to be five books in the series because it's The World of the Five Gods. I read this one a number of years ago and really really enjoyed it. I have the second one. I don't know how many more she actually ended up writing. There may be a third one that's been written but I don't know if she's ever going to finish the series which I think is part of the reason why I haven't been prioritising it but this book was a book that was so funny I was on a weekend away with a friend to Stratford and I was laughing so much while I was reading it that I had to try and explain to my friend I was at I was laughing out loud I couldn't not laugh at it. it was so clever and so funny and I actually ended up buying my friend a copy of it and she really enjoyed it too. This is a fantasy series and Lois McMaster Bujold has also written a science fiction series which I do want to get at some point as well. Next is The Cemetery of Forgotten Books by Carlos Ruiz Safon. This is another one that I didn't actually realise was part of a series until I made this video last year. I think I do have the second one, I don't know how many there are in the series. And again it's just ones I haven't got around to. So next we have the Dark Gently series by Douglas Adams. So there are two and a half books. He was in the middle of writing the third one when he died. I have it and I can't remember if someone else finished it or if it was left unfinished but there are multiple versions of it or something like that. Again, just haven't got around to it and I don't think they necessarily follow on from each other in the same way that The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy do but I might have to reread the first one before I read this one. And then we have The Number One Ladies Detective Agency by Alexander McCall Smith. So I have been keeping up to date with his other series, the Scotland Street novels, but this one I've just got really far behind in. I've read maybe six of them and there are about, I don't know, maybe 20 by now. <laughs> I've lost track. I have another maybe six to read and I just haven't got around to them. But these are ones that like, I mean, there is some element that is continuing plot, but it's not that much. They're more self-contained. I don't think I'll need to reread the earlier books for the later books to make sense in that series. Then we have the Before the Storm series, so this is the second book secret she left behind. I think it's just two in the series. I haven't finished it because I need to reread the first one because I don't overly remember what happened in it. I vaguely remember but not enough that the second one will make sense without rereading the first one. So the first one is on my TBR cart downstairs to pick up but I just haven't really been in the mood for contemporaries that much recently. Who knows when I'll get around to it but this is one of the oldest books on my TBR so I do need to try and get to it soon so that I can read this one. Next we have the Inkworld series by Cornelia Funks. This is the first one, Inkheart. This is the only one I actually own and that's the main reason I haven't got around to reading these yet because I'd need to reread this one and then buy the others and at the moment I just can't be bothered but I do want to read it at some point. Then we have Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. So I need to reread this one. I now own the next five in the series. I'm not sure how many there are in total. This was one of my favourite books as a young teenager. I didn't actually know when I read this one that there were more books or I probably would have read them all when I was a teenager. I have recently been buying more of the series and I will be trying to read some of this series soon. And we have Artemis Fowl. So again, this is a children's book series that I quite enjoyed when I was younger. I don't know how many there are in total in the series now. I have read the first two and I have the next two. I haven't decided yet if I need to reread the first two before I carry on and that's probably the reason why I haven't read these ones. 
also because I have several other children's book series that I'm working through so they're kind of like yeah when I finish one I will move on to the next one the, the light really does not like this colour <laughs> it's too sparkly so then we have the Languedoc trilogy by Kate Moss I'm not really sure why I haven't got around to reading the third one yet because I really loved I particularly really loved the first one it may be that at this stage I now do need to reread the first two and they're all quite chunky I mean that's probably quite a big part of it to be fair but I do really like Kate Moss as a writer so I've read the first two and I have the third one so it will yeah I think I will need to reread them now for to give it the context back because it's so long ago it's over 10 years since I read this one probably about 10 years since I read the second one as well so I think it is going to be a fact if I have to reread the earlier ones this is another one that I'm really embarrassed I haven't got around to yet so this is The Secrets of Jinshe by Alma Alexander the second one The Embers of Heaven has popped up on my TBR so many times in the last year I read this one reread this one a year ago this is a book that I really really love and I had to reread it so that I could read the second one. I need to do it, I need to and I keep not not reading it and I don't know why. Again that's one of the oldest books on my TBR so I really do need to, I've got no excuse for that, I don't know why I haven't got to it. So next we have one that I have a good reason, a fairly good reason why I haven't read the next one yet. So this is The Legacy of Orisha by Tony Adeyemi. This is the first book, Children of Blood and Bone. The second book came out in December in hardback in the UK, but because I have this one in paperback and I don't generally like reading hardbacks, I was waiting for the paperback to come out. So the paperback came out in March and I do have it, so I don't have an excuse anymore. Like, I, well, I kind of do. I have an excuse for not reading it last year, but I need to get to it quite soon now that I've got the second one. And I still remember enough of the first one that I don't need to reread it at the moment. That will probably come up on a TBR soon I'm sure. I have two series that I didn't actually mention in that video last year because I basically forgot about them for various reasons. So the first one is the robot series by Isaac Asimov. Now I didn't mention this one because depending on who you talk to this book is or isn't included in that series if that makes sense. So on the list I have it actually is listed as the first one but when I talked to my dad about it he actually said a different one that isn't on that list is the first one and then this isn't because it's a short story collection but who knows. So I have read this one and I have been meaning to carry on and read more of Asimov's books but I didn't realise when I made this video a year ago I, I didn't think to put this on the list so I've read this one this is the only Asimov book I've read so far and then the other one I didn't include because I hadn't I don't think I decided at that point whether I was definitely going to invest in reading the series or not but I definitely am into it now not that I've officially started anyway so this is the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett so when I was a teenager I read some of them randomly because we did one of them as a school play and my brother was really into the series so I read a couple of them but I don't even remember which ones I actually read so I couldn't tell you how many of the series I've actually read. You can see I've got them on my shelf here now. My brother when he moved decided he didn't want to keep them anymore so I have them all well I say I have them all now I have all the books that he owned which wasn't all of them so I have some gaps to fill in I do want to read these the ones I remember enjoying them when I read them when I was younger so I will be starting this series maybe this year and trying to work my way all the way through it I haven't decided exactly when yet. Hello editing Kerry just to add three series that I forgot mainly because they all fall into the similar category to the Terry Pratchett ones of I read some of them when I was younger and don't really remember which ones. I don't know why I didn't think to include them either when I made the video a year ago or in this one that I've just made now but never mind so I'm going to quickly go and add them in now. So the first one is the Mallory Tower series by Ina Blyton. I definitely read some of these when I was younger but I don't think I read all of them. I reread the first one or read, I think I actually read for the first time the first one sometime I think in 2018 but I don't entirely remember when. I don't remember which other ones from the series I actually read. The other two are both series that are made up of smaller series. The first one is the Tamora Pierce books, the Tortal universe I think it's called. So this is the first one, this is from the Song of the Lioness quadrilogy is that the word? Which I definitely read all of the books about Alana, all of the original four books in that quadrilogy. I'm, I'm going with that word. And then there was another sub-series that I read, definitely read some of but I can't remember which one and she's written loads more. So I'm hoping to start a reread of all of the books in that universe soon or read for the first time the ones that I haven't read yet. But as I said, don't remember exactly which ones I have and haven't read other than that I'm fairly sure I read all the ones from the original Alana quadrilogy. And then similarly, we have the Dragon Books by Anne McCaffrey. So I read really random ones of these because my friend 
was lending them to me and she didn't lend them to me in any particular order so I don't actually remember which ones I read. I own I think about 10 of them maybe so I'm going to start working through these in order as well and again there's an overarching series there are sub series as well but I've downloaded somewhere the recommended reading order which I think is the publication date order as opposed to reading them in their trilogies which I think is similar to how you meant to read Discworld and various other of these series that I've been talking about so that is just the three series that I forgot back to past Kerry so that's all the series that I didn't make any progress with last year I did actually make progress with some series <laughs> I finished some series and I've already made that video I finished eight series last year I made progress with four series varying amounts of progress the first series I made progress with was the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor, so I have now read the second book in the series, which is Days of Blood and Starlight. This year I've also read the companion novel Night of Cake and Puppets, so I just have the final book in the trilogy to go, which is Dreams of Gods and Monsters. So again, that one has popped up on my TBR a couple of times. We'll be trying to get to it soon while the other books are still fairly recent in my memory but I really love Lainey Taylor's writing. The next series I made progress with was another children's book series, this is the Paddington Bear books by Michael Bond so I've now read the first three so I read two of them last year that is probably the series I made most progress with. I really love these books and they're just a really nice light read when I need a bit of a boost so I keep using them as fillers when I yeah just need a bit of a lift. And then the next series that I made progress with was the Poirot series by Agatha Christie so I've started my read from the start of the series. I've read some of them randomly and I'm now working my way through the entire series so I read the first two last year I've now read the third one as well I won't finish the series this year because I'm reading about one a month but I hope to make a lot of progress with it and then finally the next book that I made progress with is the World Quake series by Scarlett Thomas so this is the first one Dragon's Green I've also now read the second one which is The Chosen Ones and I have the third one but I haven't got around to it she's publishing about one a year so I don't know whether there's another one coming out soon or whether it is just a trilogy I, I'm not aware of that I will be hopefully catching up on this series this year as well. And then because I have a problem, my head is easily turned by new series so I started a number of new series last year as well. I started, I actually started eight new series last year but one of them I finished in the year so well no I've just finished this year actually to be fair. So I started seven new series that I am part way through so I'm gonna go through them for you now. So the first one of those is the June books by Frank Herbert so there are six in this series I have read the first two and I have recently started the third one so hopefully we'll get a bit further with these I've been borrowing them from the library which is why it's taking me a bit longer because I don't like reading this big heavy this is the first three books in a bind up but it's a bit awkward to read so I've been borrowing the first three books and then the later books I have as individual volumes so I should be able to make good progress with that once I have actually carried on <laughs> reading the third one the next is another series I bought from the library so it's one that I've had quite a lot of talk about on Twitter and on booktube which is the Ember in the Ashes books by Sabah Tahir. So this is the second one, A Torch Against the Night, which I've recently got out of the library so I'm going to be trying to read this one before the library books are due back which is now in June because they're all closed at the moment. Then the next series that I started and I've been working through is the Witchland series by Susan Dennard. So I read the first one last year, I've read the second one this year. I really love these books so I will probably catch up on them all this year, although I'm a little bit reluctant to do that because at the moment we don't know when the fourth book is going to be coming out. But I really love Susan Dennard's writing. I think I named Truth Witch as my favourite book of last year. Of all the books I read last year, that was my favourite. I also started The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I took part, or was trying to take part in Bonathon, hosted by Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. I always have issues setting her channel name. So we were meant to read one in October, one in November and one in December. And I read the first one and that was as far as I got because I'm not very good at reading series back to back. That is part of the issue is that I end up starting loads of new series because I struggle to continue on with series. Anyway, so I have the next two books. The fourth one, the title has just been an announced and it's being published, I think, beginning part of next year. So I've got a bit of time to try and catch up on that before the next one comes out. Another series that I started last year was the Renegade series by Marissa Meyer. So I read the first one, Renegades, I think it was in September. And I've actually finished the second one in February, Arch Enemies. So I've been getting these out from the library and I've been waiting for the library to have the third one. They've had it on order. When the libraries reopen, I will try and get that one out. It is a series I probably will buy my own copies eventually, but because I can get them from the library, it's one less thing to buy. 
like. The next series that I started was the Stolen Kingdom series by Bethany Atasada. So this is the second book, the Ginny. Third book comes out later this year, so hopefully I will be up to date on the series by the end of this year. And then the final series that I started last year was a series I've been meaning to read for a really long time anyway. It's just, it's a very long one, so it's going to take me a while to get through. But this is the... Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb. So this is a, a series that is broken down into smaller series. This is the first book of the first trilogy which is called the Farsia trilogy. There are five or six series within the series. Um, I think there's about 16 books in total. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I, she may actually still be writing them as well. But I really enjoyed this one. It's a really good high fantasy series that I'm really looking forward to to carrying on with. This book is was relatively small compared with the size of the next book which is a chunker. One of my goals this year is to try and finish some of these series. Probably won't be most of them but I will get through some of them but I have made a good start to the year because I have already completed two series this year or at least got up to date on them. Hopefully we'll stay that way unless the author's release any more. Well one of them was a complete trilogy so I finished the Imperial Raj trilogy by Anne Leckie. That was a new series that I started last year and I loved it so much that I raced through it actually quite quickly. So I read the first one in September, I read the second one in I think November and I read the third one in January and I just really really loved those books. And um, Leckie's written a couple of other books that aren't part of that series that I've also picked up so I'm looking forward to reading more of her books. And then I caught up on the Grishaverse, so I've read now the Shadow and Bone trilogy and the Six of Crows duology. I read The Language of Thorns, which is the companion short story collection, and in January I finished King of Scars, which is the first book in the Nikolai duology I think it's going to be. I know that there's a planned second book in that duology and I think there's going to be a third Six of Crows book. As far as I'm aware we don't have release dates for any of those yet so at the moment I'm saying I'm up to date on those and I will be keeping an eye out to hear if she's releasing any more this year. It'd be good to stay up to date on those now that I've caught up. So that's it. That is all the series that I am part way through that I need to make some progress with. I probably will not get through all of them obviously because that's loads but I hope to make some progress and finish off some of these series this year. We will see how I get on with that so tune in beginning of next year when I will do a wrap up of all the series I've finished in 2020 and I will also report back on any progress I've made with any of these. But that is all so um, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, any series that you're struggling to get through. How many series are you part way through? I would love to know because that might make me feel better. I don't actually know how many that is and I can't be bothered to count them. Please do have a chat to me down in the comments about how you read series. Do you binge read them all in one go or do you, like me, have to take your time with them? You can also catch up with me on social media. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Goodreads so if you want up-to-date info on what I'm reading then Goodreads is the place to go. All that information will be listed in the description box below for you and just to say if you like this video please do like it and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Just really helps to know that people are supporting my channel in that way. But that's all for today so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Thank you.